Hello. Hello, everyone. How is it going? Uh, welcome. I'm Little Mix Honey. Um, you can call me Little Mix. You can call me Mix. You can call me Honey. Uh, thank you so much, Penguin Party. So uh, this is my first YouTube live stream. Um, I'm super excited. Uh, so welcome anyone that's new to the channel. Uh, this is going to also stay up after the recording, hopefully if all goes well and according to plan. So thank you all for being here and thank you for waiting. I'm so excited. I have my new um, microphone. It's actually really cool. It changes colors. Uh, so I'm very excited to play this game. Oh, my shirt matches the screen. Thank you so much. I tried to fit the vibe. Um, yes, King Beachy, that did work. Um, I tried to fit the vibe of the game, some little sapphic vibes. So how are you all doing tonight? Let me go ahead and get this game up as well so we can start. So um, and I'm not 100% sure how it's pronounced, is the creator of this game. This uh, game was released in February, so it's relatively new. It's a visual novel dress-up game, um, and it's free to play. So I haven't uh, tried it before. I don't often play visual novel games, but I'm excited to give it a go. Hello, King Beachy. Hello, Penguin Party. Hello, Delilah. Welcome, welcome. Okay, so let me just make sure we've got our video wonderful how does the sound sound for you all um and thank you so much for being patient because uh, i'm using a completely different streaming software on youtube yay i'm so excited too i'm so happy you're all here uh, So wakey, wakey, it's time to get up. It sounds good. Okay, great. No, I don't want to. You have to. It's a bright day outside. The sun is out. It's a great day to be alive. I just want to sleep longer. Literally me every day. Aw. Don't be like that. Here, I know. Let's wear something cute to lift your mood. <gasps> Game is released last month, honey. It's relatively new. <laughs> I'm like, listen, if it wasn't released in March, it's old. <laughs> um, but this is like me right now. I'm wearing something cute to lift my mood. Look at the bows on this dress, too. I'm so excited. Wear something cute? Yeah. I know you love dressing up, so what do you say? What would I wear? Hmm. Well, let's see. How about something bubbly and colorful? Something super adorable with bright colors. I know rainbow colors are your favorite. Same. <laughs> Honey, only plays game once at midnight, never again. Then they are too old. <laughs> Listen, I'm always looking to the future. All right. Okay, so these are our choices. A soft hoodie that brings back memories. What did we say that we were looking for something bubbly? A flowery dress that is the epitome of spring itself, maybe. A warm winter coat for colder weathers. Winter fashion is the best. I disagree, but I do like winter fashion. A dark outfit that's not my usual style, but nice nonetheless. A cute, colorful dress 
that always brightens my mood. So it looks like it wants us to wear this, but I want to explore this last outfit too. A white elegant dress that seems to float when I walk. Is that a wedding dress? Honey's next streams, next 10 streams, play X nonstop until I beat it. You mean this game nonstop until I beat it? Or something else? Let's wear our cute colorful dress that always brightens my mood. We could all use a little mood brightening. Oh, okay, so we have accessories. A flower bracelet that adds a breath of fresh air to any outfit. Simple but elegant pearl earrings that go with any outfit. Honey hasn't seen those videos. No, I have not. Uh, you need to keep me young. You need to keep me hip. What videos am I missing? A scarf to keep my neck warm when the weather is cold. Oh, there are streamers that play Eldrin Ring nonstop till they beat it. <gasps> Michaela. <laughs> yes, I know you had to be subscribed for five minutes. I'm like, in case any lesbian haters try and get in on this stream to say something, they cannot unless they subscribe first. Ooh, a cute neck ribbon that adds a touch of youth to any outfit. What do we think? What are we learning about this person so far? A simple black ring topped with a jeweled heart. You promise you're not a fake fan. <laughs> Michaela, you're a real fan. All right, let's wear our neck ribbon. This is so cute. Ah, this outfit. The day I met you, I wore this. I still remember that day so clearly. It was my first day at a new school. I was so nervous. I didn't know anyone. It was lunchtime and I didn't know where to sit. So I sat in the corner of the cafeteria by myself. Oh, no one even noticed. This is so lonely. No one except, hey, can I sit with you? The drama. I love this. Oh, someone's talking to me? I really like your outfit. It looks super cute. Oh, thank you. I like that we can see the reflection in the phone too. And I just noticed, I love how our mouse is kind of um, a little chalk outline. That's so lovely. What are you eating? Oh, um, it's just a piece of bread. That's actually a really sad lunch. Is that enough? <gasps> yes, it is. Don't worry. Or honestly, no, but I didn't know what else to buy. This is such beautiful art. I agree. Let's say this, hmm. You can take some of my meal. Wh what, are you sure? Yes, of course. I'm not too hungry anyway. Thank you so much. I wish we got to see more of the story. I should do painting streams. I cannot paint, so those would be like so silly <laughs> because they wouldn't be very um good are you new here <gasps> yes i am thought so i was wondering what a cute girl was doing alone in the corner <gasps> Ooh, um ooh, um I'm not good at reading oohs and ums. Uh, uh, um, just teasing you. Hee <laughs> hee. Ooh, ChatGPT generated painting suggestions. Then I have five minutes to paint it. That does sound fun. 
<gasps> you should come sit with me next time. Hmm. <gasps> I would love that. Thank you. Again, no problem. I always sit by the windows, so come find me there. Okay. Oh, since you're new, maybe I can show you around sometime. Mmm, I love it. I can even show you some cool places to shop for more cute clothes uh, if you'd like. I love that. Thank you so much. <gasps> Ooh, no problem. Here, key in your number in my phone. <gasps> New contact. <sighs> the rest of that day is a blur, but I was so happy. Oh, um, I appreciate you all brainstorming ideas. What secret letters, Delilah? My eyes are getting heavy. I think we're falling asleep. You know what time it is. Are we snoring? Hey, don't be like that. Let's dress up again today. So how are you all doing? How's everyone's moods? How's everyone's vibes? Hmm, let's see. Also, is this a plushie? Is this a dog? Is this a bunny? Oh, seems like the plant you planted is starting to grow. Also, I'm notoriously bad at knowing what cartoon animals are. Vibe check. Drop your vibes, drop your pronouns. How about wearing something flowery to celebrate? Ooh. Really growing? Yeah, it is. This is cause cause for celebration. Okay, something flowery. Oh, wait, I love that. Our plants are growing, so we're wearing something flowery. Of course, we want a flowery dress that is the epitome of spring itself. Maybe. Ooh, and what accessory? A flower bracelet that adds a breath of fresh air to any outfit? I'm loving the dress up vibes. This is so cute. This bracelet. Do you all wear um, clothes? Do you pick your outfit choices to match your mood? <gasps> cottage core aesthetic. Truly, I love a cottage core aesthetic. I love a cottage core lesbian. It's been so long that I almost forgot. I was wearing this the day you told me how you felt. <gasps> Oh, so each outfit is tied to a memory. What is the bisexual equiv equivalent, I can't talk, equivalent of a cottagecore lesbian? Hmm. We had just gotten back from a day at the mall together. Penguin party, you match your mood. It was supposed to be a casual meetup between friends. I feel like I pick my clothes based on the mood I want. Dress for the mood you want, not the mood you have. But all I could think about, but all I could think about the whole time was you. This is so romantic. After we left, you walked me home. The flowers actually really work too because it's like you would give flowers to someone that you like and hugged me goodbye, just as you always did. I was about to head inside when, hey, wait. <gasps> Please don't go yet. <gasps> Grabbing my hand. I felt my heart stop. <gasps> and my stomach flutter. Y yes? Um, how do I say this? You were fidgeting. 
I'd never seen you so nervous before. Uh, this is so cute. It's like, I picture the whole scene, even though we only see the hands. Based on if you want to be cute or comfy or both. I, um, you took a deep breath. Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is so sapphic. This is so sapphic. I really enjoyed it. This is so sapphic. I love being with you. Oh, I want to go on a date. I want to go on a date and a picnic and a walk in the park. It makes me feel so happy and warm. Your voice was shaking. Your fingers were playing with the bracelet on my wrist. Sending tingles up my arm every time your skin brushed against mine. King Beachy, you're like, this about the game or about something else? I love the way your eyes light up when we talk about fashion. Wait, is um the girl or the individual who's not us, is she Haley from Stardew? And she loves fashion. Is this a date with Haley from Stardew? This game is so spicy. And I love the way you laugh whenever I make a dumb joke. I, I love how you're always listening to what I say. This is so sweet. The alternate history of Stardew. Yes, we're in the alternate universe of Stardew. We're in gay Stardew. Even when I'm rambling and make no sense. You are stuttering over all your words. I'd have thought it was cute if not for the flipping in my stomach. <gasps> Look. I really like you. Like romantically so sweet I want someone to say this to me where's my cottagecore lesbian I want to go out with you oh my gosh I want to hold your hand and hug you when you're sad or when you're happy I want to hug you all the time. <laughs> this is too steamy. This is too steamy for me. <laughs> and tell you everything will be okay. I'm like blushing. I'm like, oh my. I, I know we're both girls and, and maybe you think I'm, a monster but I'm so tired of pretending I don't feel anything somebody make a move uh, listen this is this is sapphic romance so it might be a little bit and that we're just friends I want to know how you feel do you um do you like me too? <gasps> the look in your eyes when you looked at me. <gasps> I love, um, we don't get to see the eyes too because it leaves it up for the imagination. But the art makes me feel like there's like some blushing happening. I felt my heart explode in a way I'd never felt before. All I could think at that moment was that you were the most beautiful person I'd ever seen in my life. <gasps> wow. My eyes are getting heavy. Look in your eyes when I handed you the octagon-shaped U-Haul key ring. <laughs> ah. 
These must be like, I want to do like snoring effects, but the game is too serious, you know? It's snowing outside. <gasps> oh, it's time to wear our winter coats. Snow? <gasps> yes! Look out the window. <gasps> Ooh, the snowflakes are so beautiful. So notice that we're getting blue and purple text. Is this the bunny or are they waking up together? I don't know. Yes, remember when we saw those together? Oh, yes, the music is so eerie. Instant subscribe. Welcome in, foodie. Welcome. Yes, cuffing season, as they say. Ah, I've got it. How about a fun wintry outfit today? to celebrate the snow. Oh, what's the best season for romance, do you think? I feel like winter is quite cozy, but I love a picnic. So I might have to say spring. Um, it'll be fun. Winter fashion is the best. And I know you love winter clothes too. I guess. I do love winter fashion. I'd forgotten how much I liked it. You sort of think the bunny is the love interest personified or something like that. <gasps> yeah, or maybe the bunny is like a stuffed animal, like a little gift that the love interest had given us. I love that, like the memories of the love interest. Ooh, Michaela, you like fall. I love that. Well, it's a good time to get back into it then. Let's wear something wintry. A warm winter coat. Hold on. I want to know what this is for. A dark outfit that's not my usual style. But we'll go with the warm winter coat. Hold on. I'm making predictions. Is this going to be her hoodie? Like the hoodie of our love interest? Do we have a... See, I'm like, is this a wedding dress? I don't want to think what this could be. Maybe it's not that, maybe it's not that deep. Let's wear our warm winter coat for colder weathers. Winter fashion is the best. Ooh, with our scarf, a scarf to keep my neck warm when the weather is cold. Look at the buttons of our coat too. This is so cute. I want this coat. This scarf. I remember the last time I wore this. That day was the happiest day of my life. Wow. So we've gone from spring and now we're all the way in winter. So it's almost been a year. Look, it's snowing. I looked up to see a flurry of tiny snowflakes floating down. Yeah, it is. It is so pretty. <gasps> I glanced at you to see if you could see what I was seeing. But all I saw was myself in the reflections of your eyes. That's so beautiful. And all I felt was the heat rushing to my cheeks. <gasps> what a romantic moment. You're not even looking at the snow. Because <gasps> the most beautiful thing is right in front of me, okay? Your eyes twinkled clearer than any snowflake in the sky. How can I look at the snow when you're here in front of me? The laugh you let out as I punched your arm. It was the most beautiful sound I'd ever heard. This is like the words of someone in love, truly. Ah, uh, speaking of snow, though, 
I'm really cold. Should we... Should we head back soon? No. I want to stay with you like this longer. Do... Do you want to borrow my scarf? Aw, I love this. What about you, though? You're gonna get cold if I take it? So are you all the type of people, like, do you like someone to give you their jacket? Do you think that's sweet and romantic, like their jacket or their scarf? Ooh, we could share it if you want. It's long enough for both of us. I think we have to be more confident. It's long enough of both of us, for both of us. You spun around to look at me. Your eyes wide like a baby deer. But they quickly softened into an expression I'd never seen you make before. An expression that could melt all the snow in the world. Mm. Shall we do that then? Okay, there's a lot of subtext here. There's a lot of subtext here. There's a lot of subtext here. You slowly brought up your hand and lifted one end of my scarf. Your hand brushing against the hot skin of my cheek and making me shiver. <laughs> Extremely romantic. You also love a damn Jackie, I can't control the weather moment. Oh my gosh, so good, so good. You paused <gasps> and slowly pressed your palm against my cheek leaning closer. I love too that like we see our color scheme is more purple and our love interest has given blue text and also has a blue um, uh, sleeve, which is very cool. I like that. Your eyes never leaving mine. Hey, um, is it okay if I... <gasps> And they were roommates? I felt your breath against my lips. And I craved you in a way I'd never felt before. <gasps> oh my gosh. Whew, okay. <clears throat> but <laughs> something stopped me. <gasps> what if... People see us. <gasps> hmm. Then they'll just know that you're mine. I love this. That day was the coldest day of the year. Yet, yet, you were warmer than any scarf in the world. <gasps> So romantic. My eyes are getting heavy. Oh, so we're just like reliving all of these memories. Hey, are you awake? Nope, I'm fast asleep. <gasps> ha, you are awake. You know, I've been thinking you own a lot of bright clothes, but wouldn't it be fun to try wearing something a little darker? I, I know, here comes the tragedy. Although, maybe it's just um, our love interest style, you know? Maybe um, it's like those memes where it's like two people with very different aesthetics dating. Why, though? Oh, come on. Don't you think it'd be fun to try something different? Mm, I'm not sure. I don't want a tragedy. I don't want a tragedy. I want a, whole, I, I want a wholesome happy ending. 
Let's give it a try. Try putting together something a little darker today. Hmm, okay, I'll do my best. Ooh, a dark outfit that's not us my usual style, but nice nonetheless. I love a crop top though. Ooh, what's gonna go with it? Um, our pearl earrings, probably this ring. A simple black ring topped with a jeweled heart. <gasps> Okay, am I reading into this? Or is that on our ring finger of our left hand? What are our thoughts? I promised myself I would never put this ring on again. <gasps> Yet here I am wearing it once again. <gasps> I remember the day you gave it to me. <gasps> For most people, birthdays are a day to celebrate and have huge parties. Yes, the ring finger, that's what I thought. <gasps> For me, <gasps> I just wanted to spend the day with you. Oh, we were sitting on the sofa in my house, watching a silly slice of life anime. <laughs> the flashing of the TV screen was the only source of light in the room. We had swapped hoodies and your arm was wrapped tightly around me. <gasps> this hoodie is in our closet. It was a ring. A ring pop ring. Between the quiet chatter from the TV and the intoxicating smell of you on your hoodie, my eyes were starting to drift closed. You must have noticed since you turned off the TV. That's so thoughtful. And tilted my head so our eyes could meet. Are you getting sleepy? Mm-hmm. You should sleep soon. It's been a long day. So this is the day that she gave us the ring. Well, I don't want to assume their pronouns. I think our love interest is a she, they. What do we think? This was the day they gave us the ring. I hope you had fun. <gasps> I want to say every day with you is so fun. Uh, your eyes widen in surprise. But then you giggled. I can say the same about you. Can you close your eyes for a second? <gasps> uh, okay. I shut my eyes and a few seconds passed before I felt something soft hit my nose. I opened my eyes and <gasps> I saw a pair of button eyes staring back at me. Okay. So our, um, our love interest gave this to us. Button eyes and long furry ears. Is the bottom of the game getting cut off for you all? I don't know if I can fix it, so we're just gonna... Well, there we go. I, I know how much you love bunnies, so... <gasps> I bought this for you. Uh, you placed the bunny doll in my arms. Aww. This is so cute. The fur was so soft against my palms. Do you like it? I, I love it. Thank you. <gasps> I knew you'd like it. You gave me a wide smile before bending down to fish something out of your backpack. Your eyes flickered to me 
and you quickly hid the object in your palms and straightened up. Actually, I have something else to give you. Is this the ring? Close your eyes again. I felt the sleepiness leave my eyes, replaced by burning curiosity. <gasps> All right. I shut my eyes and felt your hands grab mine and the warmth of your fingers as you laced them with mine. A warmth that was quickly replaced by a cool feeling on my ring finger. <gasps> you... It can open your eyes now. I looked down and saw a simple black band with a jeweled heart on the top. <gasps> wow. It's a promise ring. My promise to you that I'll always care for you. And I'll always be there for you. No matter if you're sad or happy or worried, I'll be supporting you and cheering you on. Oh, I'll be here to wipe your tears away when you cry and to laugh with you whenever you laugh. It's a promise that I'll always love you. Why is this music telling me a different story? Why is this music telling me a different story? And I never want you to forget that. I wanted to tell you that I loved you too. I wish I hadn't been so shy because at that moment, you were the only person in the world that mattered to me. <gasps> we wanted to tell them, but we didn't tell them. Telling your fiance to get you this ring instead. Exactly. <sighs> My eyes are getting heavy. Oh, what's gonna happen? Hey, are, are you feeling okay? What makes you ask that? You've just been sleeping a lot lately. Is there anything I can do to help? I'm not sure what you could do. I guess. Mm, that's true. I guess outfit time? All right. What ideas do you have for today? Hmm. Well, since we tried a dark outfit yesterday, maybe something lighter might make you feel better. Something lighter, huh? Yes, maybe something white. Elegant items will help cleanse your mind. <gasps> you know, I don't really understand the point of dressing up like this. Who am I dressing up for? Well, I guess yourself? You enjoy it, right? I did. Oh, we did. Uh, oh, the Fashion Week dress? Then let's try it out. Something white and elegant. Fashion week, a white elegant dress that seems to float when I walk. Let's wear it with our pearl earrings that go with any outfit. The bunny should dress up. Genuinely, the bunny should dress up. Like a Build-A-Bear, you can get bows. I think the bunny does change their bow because the bunny had a different bow. And also it had button eyes. These earrings. The memories are getting more and more painful. <gasps> Why does the bunny have facial expressions? <laughs> Why do I keep doing this to myself? 
I wish I could forget that day. <gasps> what are we thinking? What are our predictions? Yes, the bunny is so emotional. Yet yeah, it's so clear in my memory. <gasps> we sat at the park bench for a long time that day. <gasps> The music like is slowing down at the perfect part. The bunny moves its face, I think just because it's a personified memory of all of our experiences with our love interest. I watched at least a dozen kids come and go as the sun slowly set behind the trees. <gasps> Yet you never said a word. It felt like an eternity passed before you finally spoke. <laughs> I wish my stuffed animals gave me fashion advice too. Do you think they would give different fashion advice? What would my Loch Ness monster tell me to wear? <gasps> Do you like me? Wh what? <gasps> I turned to look at you and met your fierce gaze that pierced my heart. <gasps> did I, did I do something wrong? Wh why are you asking that? Do you like me or not? Uh, of course I do. <sighs> you sighed and turned away as if a huge weight was lifted off your chest. I'm sorry, I just, you've been so closed off lately. Like your mind is somewhere else. You hardly talk whenever we're together. You never tell me you like me anymore. You never tell me any of your feelings at all. It's confusing, I, I really like you, and I love showing you that I do, but it feels like you never show it back. I, I know I'm normally a confident person, and, and I hate to let you see me like this, but you make me feel things I don't feel with anyone else. You turned back to me and I saw tears shining in your eyes <gasps> and hurt. I hadn't realized that I'd never seen you cry before. Our little tears and the stabbing feeling in my heart that came after. I never wanted to see you cry again. I, ooh, we're gonna apologize and we're gonna apologize and take accountability for our actions. I'm so sorry. You exhaled and closed your eyes. It felt like a year passed before you opened them again. You like me? I love you. You looked down, biting your lip. I, I trust you. The smile you gave me after was so sweet. But I couldn't ignore the pain in your eyes. <gasps> My eyes are getting heavy. Oh my gosh, we only have one memory left, right? We just have the hoodie. Oh God, what time is it? It's so quiet today. I guess it's outfit time, right? Oh, huh? Why is it so quiet? Am I forgetting something? 
Whatever. Let's just find something to wear. <gasps> what happened to Bunny? Where's our Bunny? Um, what to wear? Ugh. Looks like I only have one outfit left. <gasps> A soft hoodie that brings back memories. Do you all have a hoodie like this? This hoodie. <gasps> I wish I could erase that day from my mind. The day that my world fell apart and everything was ripped from me. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm preparing myself mentally. You were standing in front of me, in front of my house, and yet, you felt so far away. Hey, um, oh my gosh, we're sobbing. We're literally sobbing. My, my parents found out. This is not what I was expecting about us <gasps> this is a plot twist i'm not ready this is a plot twist <gasps> and they want to move me to another school <gasps> no no this is unacceptable i i i don't want to hear anymore i'm leaving at the end of this month <laughs> <laughs> no. Your downcast eyes looked up and met mine. Your face was wet with tears and you had a broken smile. This is not okay. This is not okay. I guess this is goodbye. No. No. It's not goodbye. We still have until the end of the month. I'll, I'll miss you. No. It's not okay. A lot. No, we can, we can get our parents to talk to your parents. I know. I know. Why are they traumatizing these kids? You let out a shaky laugh. <gasps> And your hands were trembling. I'll think about you every day. I don't want to keep playing anymore. This isn't fun anymore. I don't think I can ever forget about you, but, but I guess you'll be okay even without me, right? <laughs> no, we won't. Your pained eyes looked at me expectantly, but yet I couldn't find the right words to say. <gasps> we don't have anything good to say. <sighs> well, it's, it's been fun. I, I wish you the best. <laughs> You move toward me, your hot breath warming my face. And you pulled me into your arms. When is this set? Cause we can FaceTime them, right? One last time. A hug that felt like heaven and hell at the same time. And your hand instinctively laced with mine. Before you quickly pulled away, as if realizing your mistake, leaving me colder than ever. Almost like it, it was worse to get one last hug than it would have been. And you turned away, not sparing another glance back. No, we're gonna see them again. We're gonna, see, we're gonna see them again, right? We're gonna see them again. The last thing I saw was your silhouette that burned into my mind.
and stayed haunting me for the rest of my life. <gasps> no, they'll reconnect on social media like 10 years from now. I hate these memories. Every day, everything I do, the only thing I can think about is you. I miss you so much. The past year has been hell. All I do every day is play dress up in my room. This is so sad. Pretending that these outfits will distract me from my memories. They are the last thing that are gonna distract you from your memories, oh my. Yet everything I do always comes back to you. <gasps> this is no laughing matter. I even started imagining the bunny you gave me talks to me and gives me life advice. <gasps> this, is, this is why the bunny is personified. This is why the bunny talks and has facial expressions. It's in our imagination. Somebody come get this child some help. I know. <gasps> I feel like I need to do a disclaimer. Like, if you or your loved ones are suffering from depression, you can find someone to talk to. Isn't that stupid? And also, I'm not a psychologist, so please don't take uh, mental health advice from me. I wonder if you'd laugh at me if you could see me right now. But... Knowing you, you would never do anything like that. <laughs> this is unacceptable. This is unacceptable. You would probably pull me into a hug and kiss my forehead and tell me everything will be okay. Are you thinking about me too? I am anymore. This is really dark. All I want is to see you again. This is really dark. I was not anticipating. You promised you would always be there for me. Where are you now? Is this the end? This can't be. What are these petals? There's more to the story. We reconnect via Instagram and we pick up like no time passed. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. This is not okay. I'm like, I guess this is the end. Can you click on the petals? No, but it's not credits, right? This is not okay. Okay, wait. something's happening. <gasps> The number you have dialed is not available. Please try again later. What happened to her? I want to know. I'm not okay with this cliffhanger. Well... Why I thought this would be better, like happier. <laughs> because the description literally said it's about a failed relationship, but your friend definitely had this phone in 2010. <gasps> wow. Oh my goodness. I'm like, my cheeks, that story was just so too much for me. <gasps> Oh, I need to turn on the lights. I just went through so much. Oh, 
I just went through so many emotions. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, let me know what you all thought. I, before playing that, I was like, I need to play more visual novel games because they seem to have such great queer stories. And now I'm like, I don't know if I need to play. I don't know if I need to play more visual novel games. <sighs> but I'm so glad that you all joined me. Even though that was very sad. And, you know, that's life sometimes. But, uh, you know, that's all I got. I have no, I'm like, I have no hopeful departing words. I have no peace and love and finish your homework. Oh, and may your relationships work out.